Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how are you doing? Now it's Friday, Friday is request day, and today's map was requested by the creator. Now we've done this creator three times before in the past. Uh, episode 141, Sunset Bay, it was very pretty and got 11 stars. In episode 180, we did Flat Oaks, it was very pretty, and it got 11 stars. And in episode 407, we did, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Ayu Attack Mountains, it was very pretty, and got, well, let's not talk about how many stars it got, I didn't particularly like it. Didn't do quite so well that one. Today's map, you can already see, is very pretty. Something about this creator, they've got an eye for the aesthetics. Um, that's something that can be said. Is this map going to score 11 stars or more? There's only one way to find out, and that's to bear with me. Now, the good news is uh, my Bon Bon buddies over on Patreon have voted this one in to be the map of the day. And if you want to get involved in the voting process to make sure we do a good map on the Friday, then uh, you can join me over on Patreon for a dollar a month. OK, that's enough with the self-promotion. Uh, no, it's not. There's one more thing I need to do, and I need to get you to get your finger waggling for your daily reminder. Do it. Do it now, please. Yes, hitting that like button really does help the channel to grow and I thank you immensely for all the effort that you have made in waggling your finger. Right, let's crack on and do this map review, shall we? It's Eilina by Skignavillus. And I also want to say Skignavillus, but no, Skignavillus. A nice thumbnail as well, very eye-catching and all. There's your start square, um, just off of a clover leaf there. Uh, all good, yep happy with that as well loads of build plane there the resources look like such i would suggest they're very usable as well and then if we head off to the workshop have a little look at what we need now it does say unlimited trees mod um uh, and clara and no radioactive desert and more and there is a collection which we can have a look at there's a very nice actually do read the description it's very entertaining very entertaining now we're gonna have a look at the collection in a second i'll leave you to pause your way down the screen as we go but i just need to say that um it's been brought to my attention that the unlimited trees mod is currently not working now i'm not entirely sure if this is ever going to be fixed because uh, we're, we're waiting on the creator come on penguin please help um but yes it's one of those problems that will affect some maps it hasn't affected eilina that i can tell it does seem to have a full complement of trees. Doesn't seem to be any patchy areas that are missing anything. So, uh, yeah, if you're playing a map with a lot of trees and they're disappearing, that's because of the broken unlimited trees mod. Anyway, let's have a look at this. First of all, look at the the central medium. There, there's absolutely no glitching. It's almost it's almost as close to perfection as you can get. And even here out in the fog, where it's just like tapering out now we can we can now get a full vision look at this road oh look at it very nicely terraformed um and it's just perfectly distanced i would suggest um not so easy to actually build an intersection on if you wanted to you can have to demolish and rebuild and whatever but uh hey i do that as well so i'm not going to criticize too much but we've got this intersection here now if we were to turn right we go straight off the edge of the map so we go 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 the other way yeah <laughs> there's a missing pillar under there which I, is is odd but not a big problem also look at this look at the ramps this is how you do ramps just take your time coming down to ground nice and slow and gentle that's really nice work from skig does seem to understand the mechanics of ramps <laughs> okay we'll head up and um Let's have a look at oh, the trees. There doesn't need to be any patchy areas. It's all good. And uh, the start square intersection. Now it's elevated mostly, but not entirely. 
If we have a look down at the start square down here, that's that's what you're working with. There's uh, it's mostly flat, mostly flat. Um, what's on the other side there? Yeah, we've got a hill on the other way. That's a sort of like a second tile. Shall we? Shall we roll on and have a look at the details in a minute? You have a look there, there's a slight gap between the two highways. Um, obviously it's a plopped intersection and um, yeah, a little tweaking could be done there to make it just a little bit more perfect. Now as we're out working down the straight bit of the road now, there's not much to talk about. Take this opportunity to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel because uh, it's, it's nice to subscribe, isn't it? it re and that helps me to grow as well. If you, you know, obviously helps me to grow if, if, if you've subscribed, because that's one more person. One more person in the club. Right, down there, this way, um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything interesting going on. It's, it's quite a, in some ways, a mundane map. I mean, the roads are long and straight and very, I mean, almost very American. The highways are long and straight in America. You couldn't do this in the United Kingdom. If you did a long straight road in the United Kingdom, you'd be in the sea. <laughs> you would. You would. <laughs> There's not really that far, you know, from coastline to coastline. I mean, yeah, the, if the furthest you can go inland is about three yards. <laughs> ah, ah, bridge time. Bridge, 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 bridge. Once again, we've drifted apart a little bit for the bridge. I'd be quite happy just to see those brought together, but it's not a problem. No problem at all, and we're going into fog lands now, which means as there's no problems, we haven't we haven't seen any problems really. Just some minor tweaks that could be done to take it to the next level. Now the rail goes through a tunnel right here, right from the edge of the map in the fog. Would I have gone around that mountain? Would real structural engineers have gone around the mountain? I would suggest probably. Nothing wrong with the, it's a very nice tunnel. I would just suggest it's unnecessary but then again this is a game <laughs> is there any such thing as yeah oh, i don't know let's not grumble uh rail nice long straight rail you can't grumble about the rail either very once again american long straight no twists no turns oh hang on there's a turn uh, <laughs> i take it back there are some turns and we'll turn the other way as well now, in a moment, we're going to see another rail tunnel. That's perfect little bridge we've just gone past there, not even looking at that. Another rail tunnel. I would argue there's you could still find another route rather than build this tunnel, although it's you can see it's a better argument for this one, uh, like that for the straight line. But if you come from this way and then maybe just bear off to the right a little bit, take the bridge across here, and then go around the uh, side of the hill there that's possibly another room but I, I'm not going to mark down for this because it there is an argument but there's no argument about what comes up next it's the theme review no 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 the uh, asset no the theme review no it's the uh, oh sorry stop it calm down bonbon it's the asset review we're in assetville at asset corner having a look at a big bugger building yep it's a boulevard plaza tower dubai by seven five two eight double one eight one eight and if you call that number <laughs> you'll get a, a taxi and a pizza delivered almost instantly um yeah shiny big modern lots of room for detailing that big concrete patch at the front there loads of room for detailing there um yeah what can i say this is going to look um rather large against all the other buildings in uh, Asset World on Sunday. Uh, don't forget to join me for Asset World where I take all the buildings and whatever's that you see in the Asset Reviews during the week and put them into a city build. Right, okay, that's it. Boulevard Plaza Tower, Dubai, 7528-11818. Today's Asset of the Day. I'm, I'm pleased with myself. I actually got that in just before the just before the sting. I'm I'm proud. Okay, it's uh, the theme review this week is uh, Pax's Fallout 76 theme by Pax the Cat with the Rain Day Lut. Very post-apocalyptic it is too. And it's time for factoids because factoids. The whole of the American continent could be fitted into Asia with room to spare. Maybe half of Europe as well. Um, oh, as we do maps, how about McBurney's Point? You ever been to McBurney's Point? Um, well, it isn't a geographical feature at all. It's a painful spot in the abdomen. 
caused by an attack of appendicitis. I am lucky enough to have never had appendicitis, but I do suffer from IBS from time to time, and the most painful thing I have ever suffered was uh, some IBS cramps, and I was uh, I was crippled, absolutely crippled, most painful, never, never, never. Have you ever got shot in the stomach? Oh. Anyway, sorry, Cut. take my mind off of these things by looking at shipping routes, a right angle turning, they're never good. <laughs> they're never, never, never good. Um, nice smooth turns, please, guys. This is all nice. This is nice and smooth and, and bendy. And then it comes back onto itself to that right angle connection there. There is another one as well um, over here, off towards the fog. Doesn't come too much inland. We have a loop around there with a right angle turning as well. Right, okay, what do we got? Uh, water flow. Water flow isn't, uh, isn't too bad. Isn't too bad. We've got rivers. They're not massively flowing rivers, although this one looks like a lake. The water's coming in from this. Hang on. So this is a lake. Pushing the water down this way, down the river, into here, which is also, oh, it's like a bay. So is that a big lake going into a bay, going into the sea? Could be. Uh, yes, just look out for that one. But you should be okay, I think. Um, yeah, start square. Relatively flat, relatively flat, not perfectly flat. We turn on terrain tool, um, and it's smooth and flat here. We've got a slight incline there to get to the railway, and a small lump in the land there. Uh, come back this way, and yes, yeah, it's, it's all very nice. And I, I'm loving the tree detailing as well. Loving the tree detailing. I've got to say, I'm not sold on this um, volcano, ancient volcano. It looks like it's melted, which, to be fair, it probably has because volcanoes notoriously hot <laughs> when they're active so maybe maybe that's what's happened now i don't know over here we've got these sandbars now these are normally caused by water flowing out of a river um but the river seems to have um zigzagged there probably was a wider river mouth at one point there that's what i'm selling myself on however i would question this the hill here where are we come down here so the water pushes out through those sandbars um that hill just seems a little bit odd in that location. Um, I can see how it might work, actually. Yeah, no, I'm taking it back. I can see how that probably... I'm drawing a picture in my mind now. Yeah, I take it. Uh, yes, all good. Now, down here, we've got some water glitching. Um, it's a bit odd. This is the oddest thing in the whole map. Um, it is definitely glitching, right? Being held back probably by the rocks and, and the grasses. And... I'm not sure if it's meant to be a, a non-flowing pool or not. Let me show you this dry riverbed. Okay, so we come down the dry... I'm, I don't know, I'm confused. I'm confused. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Uh, we come down here. We've got this little beach area down here with some canoes and lovely little fire there. Nice. Very tidy. Um, I like that, but obviously... That would, in, that would suggest that there's supposed to be a river running down here. That's what's selling me on this definitely meant to be a river. At the bottom, we have got a pool of water. So the, the river's supposed to run down there into that pool of water, maybe? Also, the terraforming of the riverbanks, uh, of the riverbed, isn't entirely smooth. Um, so that would suggest it's supposed to be hidden by water as well. Which is okay, I don't mind that, that's fine. So let's put a, a new water source in here. Now... The bad news is Bonbon bon went a bit crazy um, at first. It's all right. It, it fixes itself very quickly. I thought I'd do like a point 0.1 um, and that was way too much. As you're about to see, we get um, a big slush of water here. I instantly panic, <laughs> instantly panic, pause the game and um, remove the water source and put in a slightly smaller one. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. So that's that's what's happening here is um, I, I'm, I'm correcting a, a big error. <laughs> we were going to flood the entire place. But anyway, that's going to sort itself out in no time. We'll come back to that in a minute, and we'll just see whether or not, by breaking that water glitch, we've got ourselves a decent uh, a decent river or not. Right, what else can we have a look at while we're here? Yeah, this river, there is somewhere around... No, not that river. This one, yeah. Here we go. We've got another beach with some canoes and some rather hysterical little huts. I love them absolutely love them these are definitely natives yeah definitely natives are we allowed to settle on on a an island where we have native population living i don't know are we this modern day what that little island off in india where they throw spears at you 
yeah, I, I probably, I, I think twice. Ah, our river's filled up. Right, so it looks good when it's filled. Look, there we go. It's much nicer now. We've got water making its way over the rocks. Oh, look, at that's much better. Uh, lots of water flowing down here. Is it at the right level? When we get to that beach, we'll just have a look at the beach. And, yeah, probably, probably about the right level of water flow as well, I think given how far the canoes are from the water's edge. We go down to the bottom, and that pool is filling up. Ah, it's actually filling up. Now, there is no water, if you go there, look, there's no water source or controlling feature here at all, which means there is nothing gonna stop this from overfilling. And we'll come back and have a look at that in a minute, I think, because I've got a feeling I've just caused myself a flooding issue. And that'll be my fault, not Skig's fault, but caused by a question on the map that I can't resolve, short of contacting the creator, which I should do, but hey, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Look, there you go. We've just paused time a bit, and now the trees are starting to paddle, <laughs> and now it's starting to flood over the edge. Right, okay. This was quite some time on, by the way. I, I had to fast forward the... Uh, the footage and go and do things but um yes just goes to show that i mean maybe the water flow was right and maybe i should just move the rocks to prevent the uh, glitching possibly we do have a nice island as well with some uh, marshes i will be using marshes in my my city but in my map build sorry and if i can get looking half as good as this i will be very happy right so there you go let's credit where it's due look at the textures and whatever right your chance to vote on the map now is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between let me know and i will use the information in a future show oh yes i will ah uh, there we are let's pull back and i will now give this thing some personal votes some personal marks aesthetically Oh, it's Skig. Skig knows how to make pretty maps, and this is a pretty map. It's not the most beautiful map I've ever seen, but my goodness, is it pretty. Four stars, definitely. Detailing. Detailing across the board is really quite nice. Um, there are just some minor tweaks and twitches that could be done to improve it, so just a minor loss of a star, but it's a very good four-star map. Gameplay potential. Gameplay potential... There are a few questions. There are a few questions. I think definitely a lot of gameplay potential here. One thing that um, I will mention, I think that that start square is going to get um, bogged down with traffic pretty quick because pretty much everything will be running through it. But other than that, other than that, very nice. So I'm going to give it four stars for gameplay. Um, it is is I, Lena by Skidnovillus. Sorry, no seal of approval just because of questions. And the only way I can resolve those is by playing the map, and I don't have time to play the map. So give it your seal of approval if you played it, if you like it, or if you play it later, come back and stick stuff in the comments and let me know, because I do want to know, especially about that river. Well, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Your chance to vote on another map on the screen now. If you click through there, you can uh, place your votes on that one too. One from in history just over a year ago. Yeah, worth checking out. Right, join me tonight for stuff, and then tomorrow, oh, map making tonight, and tomorrow for another what map. Thanks for watching.